I am the devil, and I am here to do the devil's work. Paul from Black Anvil. We definitely got more accomplished uh, taking our time with it. The, the first, the first record we wrote, three of us, you know, have spent some years together, so we would just put a band together again and, and knocked it out. And the second record, we just had like a different hunger. We, we wanted to write a second record, and it was again, we used to doing everything fast. This time around, we it just life got in the way a little bit, so that's what what slowed us down. And it worked because we were able to like refine our work a little bit. We were able to think about it and step back and the songs were a lot longer and just focused on structures. Like we, we did things that we normally never do. Like, we, I mean, we focused, but we just pound things out. It was good to just take breaks from stuff and really soak it, like soak in what we were doing. And uh, it helped us be a little more creative. Never, no one's really ever asked, so I've never really disclosed. And we like to keep a lot of this stuff internal anyway. Uh, like lyrically and you know well, behind the scenes is always best for us but this song particularly uh, I don't know, you just like get it so it's uh, it's easy to just explain there's, uh, there's like a little lead thing in the beginning that was actually used on the second record it was a segue and it was also in the track too and the the, the guitar I hate the word riff the riff under it was it was a part of the so it, it was something we had left over from the second record and it was just something in me. I was like, we have to, we have to reuse that. I don't give a shit. It's the same thing. Like, I, I just don't care. Like, we don't have to follow rules. We could put the same stupid lead in, you know. And uh, we just sort of built a song off of that. And uh, that one came together at a at a rough time for me. And it's a personal one for me. So that's definitely the one. I hate to pick favorites, but that's the one song that. Like the my opus, uh, yeah. It just was so big, and I don't know. Like I'm also crazy when it comes to track listing, so I couldn't hear that anywhere else other than the beginning. And uh, Gary made up that intro, and it was just done deal. Like o opening song, but I, I felt it also for like the first song of the record. It's long. Some people have issues with the length of some of the songs. I think it flows, but I think it, it it's the perfect first song. It just sort of explains what the fuck we're doing with this record off the bat. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of all of our stuff. I do feel, you know, I, I think your newest work should always be your best. So, and w when you stop feeling like that, then you should maybe wrap it up. But uh, I love where we're at now. Rather than looking back at like older stuff as juvenile or whatever, I just, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here. So it, it's a little different. You know, the, the oldest stuff, even playing it live, it's just, really? <laughs> fucking, it's videotape us fucking yoking him out of his car. Fucking, yeah, it was video. So, I'll just talk loud into the thing. Uh, yeah, I, uh, we can still relate to everything. It's a different time, different age, you know, different part of the band. So. Is he done? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to say that like we're angry people is, I mean, there's a lot of things that anger us. But overall, like, I think you, I think you waste a lot of time just being an angry person. Like, if you're focused and you, you know, you put your heart into the shit you love, be it, you know, it could be darker matters, you know, uh, you, you get more accomplished. So, I don't know, I, a lot of things make me angry. People, I, we could sit here and we'll get angry. But uh, th that sort of drives us to be who we are, I guess, like on the surface. I don't know, living in New York City, this is a big city, it's sort of the same shit. You got people you want to strangle all the time, everywhere you go. 
So I've sort of learned how to like just walk with blinders on and just, you know, I know I, I feel different than most people when I'm on a train or if I'm walking around and I've learned to like fit in, in my own little way, like just sort of fall in, in the cracks. Yeah, oh yeah. Excited to find new music even more now than I was than back then because there's so much more shit. Even if it's older stuff that I didn't get into until like, you know, that I discover on some, on the internet or, you know, some old new wave of British heavy metal band or anything. Like, I feel I'm more passionate about music now than I've ever been. And I've always been, you know, I, I've always been a nut job. My mom had a record collection that like you could even fit in this trailer over here. And it's just always, it's a problem that I deal with. It's like an obsession. And I like to still be a fan of bands. It's cool that we could, you know, tour alongside some, some bands and I have friends in bands. I, I love the band aside from the friendship. I like, I, I, I'm like a psycho fan. It's good to still feel like that because it's important. Everyone gets jaded and just wants to like play on an iPad in the back room or whatever and fuck with their phones, which I'm guilty of. I play with the phone a little bit, but you know. Uh, yeah, I, I feel more passionate about new music and music in general than, than ever. And especially our music, like this new record for us is, for me, it's maybe the best thing I've ever put my life, you know, done with my life. I saw the lineup. We were initially supposed to do a tour with Mayhem and Inquisition in September. And that, for whatever reasons, Mayhem had to push it back to 2015. So we needed September, and this came across our plate. And the first thing I thought of was like, ah, we're like the Outcast band. And I thought about that, and I'm like, well, realistically, there's three different bands on this tour. So rather than look at it like we're the wolf among sheep sort of thing, like, there's three different types of animals going on here. We're just one of them. Uh, we go to Europe in the spring with uh, Tombs, another band from New York, that, that we have a, a real good friendship with. Uh, we're not like scene people in New York. Tombs is like a brother band to us, so it's it'd be really great to tour with them. And I feel we're different enough. You know, we're sort of the same enough, but we're different enough, and that'll be good. But we we confirmed Roadburn which is great for us and we're doing a tour based around that. And we'll probably do another US run and maybe write another record.